Hey guys, in this session, we're going to be looking at um, solving equations where sometimes your answer is all real numbers or you actually get no solutions. Um, bear with me on this. I'll show you a couple of examples and I'll start making sense. All right, so the first example I'm going to look at is this one here where I want to solve for x. So as usual, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the brackets. So 2 times x, I have 2x. And then 2 times 3, I have plus 6. And this is equal to x plus 6 plus x. Simplifying this, I'm going to get 2x plus 6 equals 2x plus 6. Now straight away, you can see that the left-hand side equals to the right-hand side. Okay? Well, let's continue on. Let's try and make x the subject. So that means I have 2x plus 6. And shifting this 2x to the left-hand side, I'm going to get minus 2x. That equals to 6. And 2x minus 2x is 0. So I have 0 plus 6 equals 0. And of course, moving the positive 6 to the other side, I'm going to get 6 minus 6, which means I'm getting 0 equals to 0. Now, guys, in this particular case, all right, if you, get a, if you start solving equation and you get 0 on both sides, that means x could literally be any number. All right? It could be 1, it could be 2, it could be a, a million, it doesn't matter. Whatever the number is, you're always this equation is going to be where it's 0 equals to 0. So in this case, what we say is that x, the solution for x is all real numbers. All right, so that's one example with all real numbers. Now I'm going to show you the next example where you get the other situation. So with the other situation, I've got similar type of question here. Let's start expanding it and simplifying and see what happens. So we got 2 times x, that's 2x. 2 times 7, that's 14. And on the other side, I have 4x minus 2x plus 1. Simplifying this, I have 2x plus 14 equals 2x plus 1. Rearranging this, so I got 2x plus 14. Uh, shifting the 2x to the left-hand side, I get minus 2x, and this is equal to 1. Now what you'll notice is 2x minus 2x is 0, and I've got 0 plus 14 equals 1. Now I know this is not true. You can't say 14 equals 1. I mean, you can simplify this further. I mean, you could write it as 1, because when I shift 14 to this side, it becomes minus 14. And what I end up with is an, uh, an equation that says 0 equals negative 13. Now, I know this is impossible, all right? Because this is impossible, what you must then realize is that there is actually no solution for x. You can't actually solve x. So x equals, so there is no solution for x. That's what we say it as. So remember, guys, three situations that could happen when you try and solve for x. One, you could actually find the actual answer for it. Or two, you could have all real numbers, so any any numbers. And three, you actually can't have you actually have no solution. It's actually not possible um, for x to actually have a solution uh, for x to have an answer. All right, cool. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.